الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shamma here. So you have been watching in many of my recent videos this beautiful paramotor sitting in the background and many of you have been wondering and some of you even ask on the comments what kind of paramotor is that? So let me introduce this version 2 of my homemade electric paramotor to you right away. You have watched my video of my journey to electric powered flight. Uh, yeah, I started paragliding when I moved to Dubai and I found flying at high altitude kind of boring, like soaring around. I'm more like a kind of guy who likes to cruise lower to the ground, just relax and keep cruising very close to the ground. And to do that, you need a paramotor or powered paragliding. So I went ahead and I made myself a homemade twin blade or twin motor paramotor. You have watched my video on my YouTube channel. If you haven't watched, please go ahead and watch my very first electric powered flight in UAE with my own homemade twin motor electric paramotor, which did not even have a safety cage on it. So watching all those comments and all the supportive comments from all the viewers from around the world on my that electric paramotor test flight video, I decided to go ahead and build a version 2 of my electric paramotor that had to be more powerful, more reliable, better looking and safer as well. So here it is sitting in the background, the V2 of my homemade electric paramotor. I'm calling it EP Glide. Let's take a closer look at it. First off, the general look, I mean the overall look. It is a standard paramotor cage, which actually makes it look more professional and takes it away from the homemade looks. It looks like a properly manufactured paramotor, looks more professional as well. The harness is an APCO harness. This is the same harness that I used for my first electric homemade paramotor flight. At that time, the harness had issues fitting on that frame, but this time harness perfectly fits and installed properly on this frame. Now, transportation and storage. That is, how do you carry this paramotor, seeing that I have a very small vehicle now, a Suzuki Jimny. Well, I'm not worried. This whole frame can easily be taken apart, and then it will take a very small space for storage and transportation. So the whole cage, the safety cage in red, is in four pieces and once you take them out, they will take very little space for you to carry them around or for storage. Now we are running a monster motor and electric speed controller here. This motor is spinning a 36 inch propeller. This power hungry monster needs 70 volts and it will provide you maximum thrust up to 45 kg, which is good enough to actually fly a pilot of 80 kg of weight and including all the gears. For controlling the throttle, my very first uh, homemade electric paramotor had a physical line coming from ESC, which was from backside from ESC and all the way to the throttle that I uh, made at home using an RC, uh, an old RC car, uh, you know, gun throttle. Uh, the problem. The problem with that was that a number of times that physical cable actually ran into propeller and got broken and once the cable is broken, electric speed controller had no signals and it stopped the motors and we had to land. That happened a couple of times during testing. So this time again, I went with, uh, you know, RC car throttle control. I found this on uh, Chinese eBay, the Chinese eBay portal kind of thing. I found it very, very cheap there. It's a very nice little throttle throttle control. So I had to modify it. This was like forward and backward. I had to modify it all the way up to give me only one side throttle that is from zero to full throttle. And this is wireless. So, so I had to install a receiver on board my electric paramotor and that receiver has to be powered by a U-back and a smaller battery on board. Now first I was thinking that I will just install them next to the ESC somewhere or next to the batteries. But then I figured it is not safe. Again there could be possibilities that the cables will just cut off or the things will just run into the propeller. So I went ahead and 3D printed myself a small receiver box and attached it right here on the paramotor. Now this small receiver box has my receiver, UVC, 
and a small 7.4 volt battery to power it for a couple of hours I believe and a small cable running from the ESC to the receiver inside this box. This is a very neat setup and is very very safe because it's just right next to me. Very easy approach from my one hand. Should anything go wrong, I can easily disconnect all the cables or disconnect the whole box by pulling it apart. Once the ESC detects no signal, it will disconnect the power to the motor. Once the power cut off, I can definitely have enough time to land depending upon what heights I'm flying. If the radio control loses power, this little radio control in hand, if this loses power, if something goes wrong with this radio, uh, motor will, ESC will simply disconnect the power to motor. If you turn off this radio, ESC will disconnect the power to the motor. If you disconnect the power to the receiver, ESC will simply stop running the motor. So there's a basically very nice fail-safe system running here for now. Now to feed these two power hungry monsters, you will need an 18S setup that is up to 70 volt. Now once this motor is properly powered by an 18S setup, this motor is rated to give us up to 45 kgs of thrust, which is enough for a pilot of 80 kg weight to run and take off and fly. For me, I'm a 65 kg heavy pilot only, so for me this is much more power than I needed actually. I believe I can actually run and take off with 70% throttle and probably cruise around very well using 50% or less throttle only. You can also remove these actually. And fold them inside. Now it's even more compact. Assembly and deployment is also going to be very easy and quick. Test the batteries and you're ready to fly. It's only 12.5 kg heavy without batteries. And you can get lighter weight batteries. The most heavy batteries like 22,000 milliamp success, three of them can be 7.5 kg heavy. So that's a 7.5 kg extra weight and you are good to go. So basically this is very, very lightweight. And for me, a small guy like me, running with this lightweight will be very very easy. So enjoy and wait for the test flights and I'm confident and inshallah I'm gonna have lots of fun with this new electric paramotor, homemade electric paramotor V2. Stop me actually! <laughs>